And now it's time for today's guest. Okay. Kimberly Snyder is a nutritionist, a New York Times best-selling author, and the founder of Saluna, a lifestyle brand that promotes the feel-good movement. Her beauty detox series has helped many readers around the globe, but today she's here to discuss her new book, Recipes for Your Perfectly Imperfect Life. Everyone, please give a warm Bill Bunch welcome to Kimberly Snyder. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming nice on. Thank you. I'm so excited. Hi. Hey, Allie. Hi. Well, Kimberly, thank you so much for being here. Really excited thank you for to talk to you. Me. Tell us about your book, Recipes for a Perfectly Imperfect Life. Love that title because yes. I think it sums up a lot of people's lives perfectly. <laughs> exactly. What was yeah. the inspiration behind it? So, first of all, the inspiration is to help people feel good, which sounds really basic, but I think wellness has become really trendy, but people are more confused than ever. There's so much anxiety, there's so much depression. People are really disconnected from their bodies. So, I think something as simple as helping people reconnect mm. is really important. And what I found with my clients is when we feel good, we tend to look good as well. We tend to be more in touch with when we're actually hungry, what foods serve us, yeah. what decisions to make, there's more clarity. And of course the title, Perfectly Imperfect, I think there's so much rigidity and so much energy spent in trying to keep up this image of perfection, right. which as you guys know is totally fake. Yeah. It's a myth. We can filter yeah. as much as we want on Instagram, but if we're just putting all that energy in how it looks and we feel like yeah. S-H-I-T on the inside. <laughs> you can, you can say you want to. Okay, then we feel like shit on the inside, yeah. then it doesn't, like, what, what's the point of any of it? Absolutely. Right. And what I really love about this book that, like you just said, it's not just recipes, but it's, no. like, tips on how to live a fulfilling life. Yes. Can you, like, why do you choose to also include that? So I think it's really important that we, we look at things in a holistic way. That's how we get the best results. And I've just found in the research shows that our mental and emotional health, the way we're dealing with stress, has an impact on our bodies. I think the pathway into taking care of ourselves is often food because we can see it and we right. can hold it. Mm -hmm. But there's research in this book showing how the thoughts we're thinking, holding on to guilt, shame, resentment, actually manifest in bloating, inflammation in the body. Yeah. It makes it harder to lose weight. Mm -hmm. So the ways we're dealing with stress, the way that we are taking our, care of ourselves all around has a huge impact on our health. Absolutely. Right, and I've heard that like when you yeah. shame yourself with the food you eat, it makes everything worse. And in, That's right. And in the book, you know, you talk about going beyond labels and self-judgment, which I love. Yes. What are some tips that you could share with us right now that we can do that? So so the, one of the biggest things I want to share with you guys is changing from the word or to and, these two okay. little words. Okay. So think about it, we live in a world of labels. I'm either pretty or I'm ugly. Right. I'm fat or I'm skinny. I'm a success or I'm a failure. And when we think of and, that's the holism. I am a healthy person and sometimes I get drunk with my friends and have a bunch of margaritas. Right. Yeah. I that's am, me, girl. <laughs> that's me. I am a good mom and sometimes I'm impatient. So when we start to relax into this idea that we're all everything at once, then I think it relaxes how we feel. Again, our bodies open up and that's all this research Research, all the tips and tools are paired with these foods that help drop you into the body. And that kind of hits that. my next question, which is do you think that's this disjudgment, this, this oaring that people yes. do is like what the pitfalls people fall into trying to live that perfect life? Mm. Yeah, exactly. I think it's 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 unachievable. We can right. try to be more perfect on the outside. We can try to keep losing weight, keep looking better, have a better job, and it's endless. Right. So when we are more relaxed with ourselves, the perfect and imperfect, we all know the imperfections, all the stuff yeah. out here, but there is this perfect part of us, this fact that we're just alive and we exist. And so when we're more connected with our true self deep down, then we can still go out and achieve and run around, but we don't take it as seriously. Yeah. Our self-esteem doesn't tank if we get a zit or we gain 10 pounds over the holidays. Yeah. So it's about living this life of, of holism and just a much more relaxed approach. Yeah. I'm feeling like very inspired right now. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm really good. Be, be, I'm like yeah. in my head and I'm like, yeah, I'm skinny and I'm fat. So Wait. what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The or and thing just changed my life. Yeah, like that really is like really the I'm too. telling you guys, when you look at it that yeah. way, and and right. I've seen with clients time and time again, when we have a more relaxed approach, people do lose right. weight easier. Their skin opens up. Your digestion improves. Your adrenal, your nervous system is so tied to our thoughts. So if you're like, oh my god, did I follow this? Eating according to an app or a chart or this tiny portion size? Oh, I messed up. Your body holds on more. Right. Mm -hmm. So when we relax a bit more, ironically, you get better results. Yeah. Oh, that's. <laughs> It's like, so I like we all like, woo. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I'm butt in my pants. It's like, you know, you guys just relax your shoulders. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens yeah. on the inside of your body. Right. Literally, your liver, your GI tract, your, everything just relaxes mm. and lets go easier. Yeah. And then it's a much more peaceful way to live. Everything just works better. I can't wait for tonight wow. and I'm at dinner. I'm anding. <laughs> yeah. I worked out and I'm drinking. <laughs> Oh, your poor liver. I know. <laughs> uh, and you have over 100 plant-based uh, recipes in this book. Can you tell us some of your favorites? Yeah, so I, again, back to this idea of perfectly imperfect, 
I became a new mom since writing this book. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. thank you. Yeah. I'm a little boy, little oh, boy, two and a half. So I think it's about um, accessibility, making it easy. I'm a big fan of throwing things together, one pot meals. One of my favorite uh, recipes is called the chickpea stew with pistachio pesto. Mm -hmm. So you never think of putting pesto in a soup or a stew, but mm -hmm. it's actually really delicious, keeps it new. We're all so busy. I mean, you guys probably don't even cook in New York. I used to live here. But if you are going to cook, make it easy, right. make it fun, make it taste delicious, for yeah. sure. And there's lots of desserts, too, which is really exciting for me. I have a sweet tooth and gluten. You have a gluten-free um, blondie yes. uh, oh. brownie that yes. looks amazing that I want to try because gluten always kills me. It yeah. ruins me. Mm -hmm. But I want those sweets. That's it. So, again, back to our and. Right. I'm healthy and I also eat dessert almost every day. Yeah. But it's gluten-free, it's dairy-free, you can upgrade, but you can still have sweets. So all the all the recipes, all everything is actually gluten-free, it's super easy. Uh, baking with coconut oil, which helps mm -hmm. to boost your metabolism, it doesn't get rancid at mm -hmm. high temperatures, so it's better for your skin. But all these recipes are just as good, I would say just <laughs> as good as regular brownies, but really great for you as well. Ooh, right. sounds good. And more than an author, you are also a nutritionist. Yeah. And uh, what first drew you to sort of health and nutrition and, and that lifestyle? So it was healing myself. I had a lot of acne. I gained a lot of weight. I had a huge party phase in college. I was <laughs> super bloated. I had a lot of digestive issues. Mm -hmm. And so I was really interested in learning about how to heal myself. And literally, I think you are drawn to what you want to teach yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So all my books are really um, about what I'm learning in myself. And this book is so, I think, the, the best. It's the most personal, the most clear, the mm -hmm. most from my heart, the most about finding our real value. And again, feeling good after you know, five books. It's not just out here. It's this side, too. Yeah, and uh, speaking of feeling good, you have a podcast, the Feel Good Podcast. Yes. So uh, tell us a little about that. So I love having the podcast because I get to have amazing conversations, and it's all different, all different aspects of wellness and empowerment mm -hmm. for women and men. So it's super, it's it's great. I get to talk about all the different things I'm interested in. That's great. So you've got the book, the podcast, and then you also have a lifestyle brand called Saluna. Yes. First, what is that Saluna Oh, mean? yeah, I love you. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. So Saluna means the sun and the moon. Okay. So back to this idea, it's the light and the dark. It's all cycles of life. So the brand, we have things you use at night. We have amazing non-toxic skincare. We have supplements. We have something called the Feel Good Circle. <laughs> Sounds really nice, right? <laughs> where we, it's a virtual online circle with, with journaling where we go into deep, emotional, spiritual, emotional mm. topics, and there's a private Facebook group. So we really want to offer something that's for your body, but also for your mind and for community. It's a very community-based brand. Yeah, yeah, and you guys have a juice bar at the Ritz-Carlton as well, right? It's at the Four, four seasons. seasons. Oh, no, don't let that. Yeah. Ah. Oh. No, it's at the Four Seasons. Which is the best in. hotel in yeah. Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yeah. That yes. is the best hotel. So when you come, you have to come visit. We have uh, oh God, organic love juices to. <laughs> and smoothies right in the lobby. So what's the next challenge for you, then? Well, besides running around as a mom, <laughs> um, I just, you know, I think uh, I've just grown so much within my myself, sharing. I want to get this message out. I'm very focused on the book. Like I said, I think this is really the message that's needed the most right now. Yeah. Um, so I'm just focusing on that, and we'll see how things keep unfolding. Yeah. Well, I feel like whatever you're, like, telling us, we're going to listen. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm feeling very positive and inspired right yeah. now. I love it. I'm not one to exaggerate, but you changed our lives. <laughs> we're we're definitely Oh, my forever. God. I literally saw everybody's shoulders. Yeah, Everybody yeah, took a did. collective shot. It was amazing. Ah. And, and, well, Kimberly, thank you so much for thank joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's been amazing.